Hey, it's Caesar. Welcome back to the shop. Thought I'd better make a quick video about my new grinder and sander stand for all my subscribers. That would include both of you. So uh, it's coming along nice. This was the Baldor grinder stand that I got off Craigslist. Uh, might remember it was pretty rusty. It had the old blue paint, it had some stickers. So I welded a couple brackets here and a little stand out here for the motor, nothing fancy, just some steel. I threw bolted that. I had to get a little creative underneath, whoops, hands in the way, so that uh, I could accommodate some of the square tubing under there. So the motor is purposefully offset like this so that the belt grinder motor comes out at an angle this way. Let me show you from above. So this is the straight plane on that. That way, if you look at the three holes here for the post vise, that puts the straight plane of it here. So if I have a pipe in the uh, post vise, it won't hit anything. If I need to sand a long piece here, it won't hit anything, but yet they take up minimal room because this angle iron will eventually go on both sides of this and underneath. The cart will stop about here and the anvil will be mounted on the other side under the bench grinder. So a lot of TIG welding today. This uh, is a hefty, quite hefty stand, uh, stanchion, I guess, that a large housing fits on that will come up and over the bench grinder, big plastic, or they're actually Lexan guards that will come down. And again, the anvil will be here. So uh, currently, as I trip over things, you can see the cardboard here. That is a mock-up for a belt guard. I just don't want that thing spinning up toward my face. So, uh, show you the old one here. This is kind of the same concept. So when I bought this thing on Craigslist, it had a different motor on it and the motor sat in the back, but I wanted to save some room here on the top. I wanted to lower my center of gravity, but I also, because of the way this is set up, I flipped the motor around. This motor, it's a TEFC, totally enclosed fan cooled motor. So fan out here, you know, grindings and droppings and stuff, metal droppings are not gonna hurt this thing because the grinder exhaust is gonna be back here. The belt grinder exhaust will be on that other side. I will try and contain it to some extent, but uh, belt guard here. So this will go on from this side. I welded up this piece of eighth inch steel under here. This is really firm, so there'll be that belt guard on this side and then attached to this side, it'll cover the bottom part. So this one, you can see it comes down just below the motor. And these two may attach to each other, but uh, that way the motor and belt are enclosed from this side and especially from the working end up here because this is the thing spinning. Now those are good belts, but if that thing decided to catch and let loose, boy, it, it would not be good flying up toward me. So. I did get a piece of, uh, this is real flexible steel. It's still a little rusty, but that is definitely thick enough to contain a belt if it decides to fly apart. So I'll use this template. I'll cut out a nice piece of uh, metal, and then I'll bend that piece you just saw to fit right over here. And then I'll weld, tack weld on some little tabs. So it'll probably have little tabs here, little tabs here, and uh, that should hold it. So that's good. The uh, post vise, that's gonna be a pretty easy install. I'll need to, on the bottom of the base, uh, make a little hole and then something I've just got in mind, like a piece of steel that bolts down this side, sticks through, bolts down on the other side to hold that. And uh, the anvil, I've got an idea. A guy just sent me a picture of his dad's anvil. It looked great, so I'm gonna kind of modify something for that. But that's where I'm at on the grinder grinder anvil vice stand, my mobile metal station. So it's coming along, making progress, pretty happy with it so far. It's just a, a slow grind of getting it done. I've got a little paint on the bottom because I'm pretty much done with that. I had to keep all this bare so I could stack all my dimes. I did that one left-handed, so I have to brag about that, although I left a little hole there at the end because left-handed I'm coming this way with the TIG torch. Uh, the rest of these, uh, pretty beefy, so. That's it for now. Just a little update on the stand. Thanks for watching.